right there we go good evening jared thank you for coming it's nice to see you again i didn't see you yesterday how you doing good evening i'm fine thank you very good thank you nice to see you again jared Good evening, Karen. Thank you for coming. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Hello. Well, good night. Good night, Karen. Welcome to the class. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Welcome, Jacqueline. How are you guys doing? How are you guys are doing? Just fine. I'm doing great. Thank you for awesome. asking. Very good. I like it. How are you? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I'm just... Uh, a little hot in here, but I think that other than that, I'm doing great. I'm happy because... Do you work at home? Excuse me? Do you work at home? Yes, I do. I do work at home. Oh, yes. Okay. yes, it's a little bit hot. Yeah. Yeah, I was getting accustomed to the weather because it was kind of cold a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. So I, I, yeah. I, that's the weather that I like the most. But I mean... It is what it is, right? Yeah, I think all of us. <laughs> yes. It seems like it was going to rain, but at least uh here in my house didn't rain. It didn't rain at the end. Oh, right. Yeah. That's true, yes. Uh it looked like it was going to rain, but at the end it didn't it didn't. It just didn't. Yeah, but the heaven it was really beautiful. Yeah, here in you San Jacinto, it was like red, and it was a rainbow also. also. You mean the sky, right? The sky. Yes, the clouds. Yes, mm -hmm. the clouds looks like red. I see. Beautiful. Do you take any pictures? Yes, I have, and um, I think some people take pictures um of the san jacinto a uh, mountain oh. and send them to a uh, tv news so oh. yeah they show um the rainbow and uh, the clouds very good yeah i know what you mean i i have seen those uh posts on social media like for example mm -hmm. uh on like on twitter and then you see something that uh they they post a picture and then they say uh, this picture was taken by someone in San Jacinto, for example. So I, I know what mm -hmm. you mean. Yeah, Very good. but it was beautiful. Yeah, well, maybe one day I can go to San Jacinto. I have never been to San Jacinto, honestly. And where do you live? I live in San Juan Opico, La Libertad. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit hot, right? right? It is, yes. It yeah. is. <laughs> I wish I lived somewhere else. Like I wish I lived in Chalatenango, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yes. Me too. Yeah, but I remember the years before lower this, it was like very cold, right? Probably it was, but you know, uh when people start building houses mm -hmm. and they start uh, cutting trees down and then uh, it gets uh, hotter like the temperatures goes up so i think that's higher, yes yeah so i think that the, probably that is what the problem is yeah because right now there are a lot of houses and residences in all that area that is correct yeah there are a lot mm -hmm. of uh, residential areas here now mm -hmm. yeah so, well, uh, thank you so much, Karen. I appreciate that. Uh, thank you. And welcome, guys. Uh, I'm sorry <laughs> uh, we got in the conversation with Karen, but thank you guys for coming. I appreciate that. Thank you for being on time. So, how are you guys doing? I can see Daniela. I can see Dinora. Maybe Dinora can talk to us today because yesterday she said she was just listening. Hello, teacher. Hello, Dinora. How are you doing today? Um, thanks to Lord, and I am well. 
Um, yesterday I um, go to the clinic oh. with my baby. And uh, yes, oh. because I was auditioning in the class. Mm -hmm. Yes. I see. It, it was a reason. That was the reason. All right. So yes. yesterday you went to the clinic with your baby. So that was the yes. reason we're just listening to the class. Of course. I see. Okay. okay. I understand. But, right. So how okay. is your baby? Is your baby fine? Uh it's better. Yes. Very mm -hmm. happy to hear that. Yes, thank you. Very good. Well, thank you, Dinora. Thank you for coming to the class. And thank you for being on the class, even though you have to go to the clinic. That shows a lot of commitment from you. So thank you. I appreciate that. OK. So thank you, Dinora. And then we have Jonathan. We have Luis. Welcome, guys. Thank you for coming. It's nice to see you again. Nice. Nice to meet too. Hello, Jonathan. How are you doing today? How's your day going? Well, my day is like a normal day. I worked from to 8 to 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. Then when I got home, I had coffee and rested a little. Oh, very good. That's yeah, good. It's, it's nice. I, I really enjoyed the, the well, I don't remember the meaning of clima. Weather? Clima. Oh, uh -huh. weather. The, yeah. the weather, you mean? Yeah, I, I oh. enjoy the, the weather at the end of this of the year. It's mm -hmm. so cool. I really love it. Yeah, me it's too. So, yeah. I love it too, Jonathan. Yeah, this is like the best part of the year. I think I told you guys that before. Uh, I really enjoy it. Like the feeling, the weather and all of that is different. Uh, you got like that nostalgia in, in the air. <laughs> you feel like... Yeah. The year yeah, is coming to an end, <laughs> right? I remember that when I was younger, like when I was uh, maybe in elementary school, I was uh, worried all the time because I, I was like uh, thinking all the time that I was not going to uh, make it. Uh, like I was not get, going to be able to uh, get good grades and that kind of things. I was really concerned because of that. I was thinking all the time like, man, what if I don't uh, have uh, good grades and then I'm not able to go to the next grade? I was really a, a concerned because of that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I understand. But for me, when when well, when I was younger, I'm be the the nerd. I'm, it's not problem. I I was the smartest student or like oh. a nerd. Oh, it's, it's no problem for me at the end of the of the year, because <laughs> I I know the I got the next grade, for oh, example. Awesome. But I'm so lazy. Or I was so lazy, but it's not hard for me the, the high school, for example. I understand. But, but I understand. Yeah, I understand that you say because some friends, some of my friends, is like to scare to to this to this season for. <laughs> the the year and the, in the school for example i see i understand jonathan yeah so probably you were lazy because you were like really smart that you didn't have to worry about that uh, and probably that made you think that you didn't have to work really hard to get good grades so probably that's what it was yeah <laughs> so, look so, so easy for me es lo que pasa cuando, cuando alguien es bueno en algo pues ni siquiera se preocupa ¿verdad? de hecho yo cuando estaba pequeño, tal vez pequeño, pequeño sí, ¿verdad? Eh, las maestras decían, no, es que lo que pasa es que él eh, ni siquiera pone atención porque le entiende fácil entonces se pone a hablar en la clase y todo eso entonces eso es lo que nos pasa a veces, es como que a algunas personas les pasa eso quizás, ¿verdad? que pueden entender las cosas fácilmente entonces al final eh, no se preocupan tanto, como les pasa a otros. Pero sí, en eh, algún punto sí era como que yo estaba preocupado, era que 
bueno, ya casi se termina el año, a ver si saco buenas notas, a ver si puedo pasar al siguiente grado, ese tipo de cosas. Estaba preocupado todo el tiempo por ese tipo de, de tonterías, la verdad. Y ahora que me pongo a pensar en eso, digo, qué cosas tan tontas por las que me preocupaba. Creo que... Yeah, <ríe> sí, right. <ríe> Now we have real uh, adult concerns, right? We mean, I mean, we have to pay the bills, like utilities, we have to pay for electricity, we have to pay for almost everything. So things change. And now we really have uh, important things to worry about. It's another time to, or it's another time type to fun. That's correct. The life, the other life. That is correct. I agree with you, Jonathan. So, well, guys, um, all right. So we're going to continue today with our classes. Uh, yesterday, we, you guys practiced a little bit, really liked it. And hopefully we can practice again today uh, because I think that you guys did a great job. And I think that you guys can get to know each other and maybe uh, like learn uh, from your classmates. Like for example, I was listening to some of you and you guys are doing great. So I just want to say that you, you guys should keep doing that, the good work that you're doing. Bueno, eh, por ahora vamos a comenzar una, creo que la sección 3 ayer ni la comenzamos, así que la vamos a ver ahora. El día de hoy la, el tema se trata de favores, de pedir favores, ¿ok? Así que vamos a ver cómo nosotros podemos pedir un favor. Probablemente ya tengamos una idea, pero el, el objetivo de la clase es que podamos tener más vocabulario. Eh, vamos a ver, por acá dice alguien. Uh, okay. uh. Sí, el, el objetivo de la clase es que podamos tener más vocabularios, más opciones para nosotros pedir favores, para poder eh, conceder los favores, negarnos a hacer un favor, eh, dar las gracias, todo ese tipo de vocabulario. Eso es lo que vamos a querer nosotros aprender el día de hoy. En primer lugar, por acá hay como un video, es como una mini película, que tal vez ustedes ya la vieron, pero si no, pues tal vez la podemos ver juntos por acá. Eh, se la voy a compartir. Esto es lo primero que tenemos por acá. Give me just a second, guys. Please hold on. Please bear with me. Okay, so this is the first video that we have for this uh, topic, which is, uh, could you help me out? Or could you do me a favor? Right? So the objective here, it says by the end of, the, uh, by the end of this lesson, you will learn about different favors that people ask and express your opinion on favors that you dislike people asking you for. I think that we kind of read the objective yesterday, but uh, we just uh, reviewing the information one more time, just in case. So we have here, it says, watch the video below and take note of all the favors that are asked. Which are the favors that would you, that would bother you the most? Which would bother you the least? Okay. Bueno, entonces acá nos dice que veamos el video, que nosotros eh, hagamos una lista, que hagamos una lista de todos los favores que se piden en el video y que luego nosotros eh, digamos cuáles favores nos molestarían más y cuál favor nos molestaría menos. Ok, entonces prestemos atención y luego quiero que nosotros vayamos anotando. Ok, eso es importante. Vamos anotando ahí lo que, lo que los favores que se están haciendo para que ustedes me puedan decir cuál les molestaría más y cuál les molestaría menos. ¿sí? Um, so, we're going to go back. Let me just uh, rewind the video. I'm going to start over, okay, from the very beginning. It, this video lasts for 4 minutes and 47 seconds, okay? So, let me, okay. There is no way to have a better picture quality because we, we don't have that option here. So we're going to just watch the video as it is. All right, so I'm going to play the video, guys. Please pay attention to it, okay? Rachel, I am so glad you're home. I was wondering if you could help me out. Yeah, 
What's up, Anne? I need a big favor. My boss just called, and he wants me to go out of town this afternoon to meet with a client. That's great. Yeah, but my parents are out of town, too, and my little sister Megan is staying with me. Would you mind if she stayed with you tonight? I could pick her up tomorrow by 10. Uh, no, I don't mind at all. Uh, what time did you want to bring her over? How about now? <laughs> Hi, Megan. Did you want to spend the night here? OK. Great, uh, but I have a report to work on tonight. Don't worry, we planned ahead. She brought her homework. She'll keep herself busy. Fantastic. I, I have to run. Thanks a million. Oh, you're welcome. Bye, Meg. Have fun, but do your homework, OK? Don't worry, Ann. I will. <laughs> What grade are you in, Megan? Eighth. Hey, you've got the Twilight movies. Can we watch them? Uh, sure, but I think you should do your homework first. Okay. Good. Uh, you can work in here. I have some work to do, too, so I'm going to go to my office. Okay. the homework coming? Good. I did half of my math problems. That's good, but you still have some more work to do. You can watch the movie when you're done, okay? Rachel! Yes? I'm done. Is it okay if I watch the movie now? Yes! down the volume. Oh. Thank you. I'm starving. Can I have something to eat? I it's only four in the afternoon. So? Um, okay, how about some carrot sticks and an apple? What else have you got? I have some strawberries and whipped cream. Anything else? Okay, how about a pizza? I have one in the freezer. Plain? I think it's a veggie pizza? That sounds good. I love this part. I know. It's so romantic when Edward tells her he loves her. Does he stay with her? You mean you've never read any of the books or seen the movies? No, I was too little. But I'm old enough to understand them now. Can we watch the second movie after this one's over? I have a better idea. <laughs> Anybody home? Oh, good morning. Good morning. What's going on here? We stayed up late reading Twilight. I loved it when Bella first dreamed about Edward. Oh, me too. The part where Jacob appears? Wow. We must have lost track of time. We ought to get going, Megan. All right, I'll grab my stuff. These books are the best. Would you mind if I borrowed this one? Oh, no, go ahead. Thanks. You two really seem to hit it off. How'd you do it? I guess a good book can still bring people together. All right, there we go, guys. Uh, did you like it? <laughs> what do you think about this? We have yes. some really... <laughs> you liked it, Daniela? <laughs> yes. All right, very good. So, um, let's see. So, what can you tell us about the video, Daniela? What, what do you think about it? What are your thoughts about the video? Sorry, at the beginning, I lost wireless 
so I couldn't hear the first part. Oh, but I, I start when I can remember what's the name, Megan. I don't know. The blondie girl. Mm -hmm. uh, she was as she was letting the kid with a person I don't know who is her, mm -hmm. but the the girl likes a lot Twilight. So she, she was asking it. all the time, and I, I, I want to see the movie. I want to watch. I want to watch the movie. Sorry, I want to watch the movie, and you have to finish your homework. You have to finish what I, what did I say? Mm -hmm. And the girl just only ask for the movie and then she was starving so she was asking everything all the time <laughs> at the end the person the person has to 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 follow it the same way of the girl and finish with her watching the movie <laughs> yes right right very good daniela uh did you uh hear when they say something about she said that she was starving so she offered uh, the girl a couple of things, like she offered her, I think that uh, carrot sticks and an apple, I think. An apple, yes. I can't white. remember. And then she also offered her whipped cream with strawberries. And then at the end, uh, she ends up offering a pizza that she has in the freezer. Do you remember that part? I remember when the girl asks, for food because she she said I'm starving, mm -hmm. but what he what her offer I can't remember. You can remember that, okay? So she yes. she she offered her uh, something and she said that she had a pizza in the freezer, and she said, uh, "Is it a plain pizza? Uh, do you know what that is? Plain pizza? No. No. Okay. Does anybody no, I don't know? know what it is. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Uh, Vamos a ver, tenemos algo de vocabulario interesante por ahí, la verdad. Por ejemplo, es plain pizza. It's not very common, but maybe something interesting for you, like that can, you can add to your vocabulary. And then uh, at the end, she also said uh, when, I mean, uh, like the first woman, the one that let the girl at uh, this friend's house, uh, she, she came back uh, to pick up the girl. And then uh, she said something like, it seems like you guys really hit it off. How did you do this? Uh, something like that, I think. Uh, do you know what that means? When they say uh, to hit something off with someone, do you know what that means? Right, tenemos ahí vocabulario bien interesante, ¿verdad? Como le estaba diciendo Daniela, teníamos lo de la pizza, plain pizza. Básicamente es un tipo de pizza, guys. Okay? Es una pizza que solamente tiene queso, y salsa de tomate, ¿ok? Porque ella le estaba ofreciendo una pizza, entonces ella le dice, plain pizza, es de ese tipo de, de pizza, es solamente con queso y salsa de tomate, entonces ella le dice, eh, es una pizza vegetariana, probablemente ella no la quería con más eh, cosas, eh, tal vez sin carne, probablemente, por eso le dice que es vegetariana, es una veggie pizza, and then she says that that's fine, and at the end she ends up uh, having pizza. So then uh, teníamos el otro phrasal verb, which is really interesting. Como le estaba diciendo, vamos a ver por acá, se lo voy a poner. It seems like, perdón, aquí se me van a decir. You guys really hit it off. Que básicamente esto significa cuando nosotros decimos uh, to hit uh, to hit it off with someone it means that uh, básicamente congeniamos con esa persona que nos conectamos con esa persona uh, rápidamente ok porque si se fijan al final pues ellas dos uh, terminan conectándose y le dice ella de que fue por el, un buen libro que en este caso era el libro de, de Twilight ok entonces uh, básicamente eso es lo que significa este verbo ok es un phrasal verb Estamos claros hasta aquí, guys. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta acerca de algo. Hasta ahora. Todo claro. Todo claro. Okay, muy Mold bien. is clear. Very good. Very good. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Right. So, 
you guys can say that. For example, I met uh, someone uh, the other day and we really hit it up. Okay. Congeniamos, nos conectamos bien. Eh, y así. Okay. Luego, la otra parte que nos pedían era que nosotros dijéramos qué favores nos podían molestar más, qué favores nos molestarían menos. So, what do you think? What do you guys think about this? Like, for example, what, what would you think if somebody comes to your door and then, uh, like, out of, out of nowhere, starts asking you to look after uh, someone, in this case, after a little girl? How would that make you feel? And what if you have that uh, uh, kid in your house and that kid starts asking for other things, like if, if that kid starts asking for food or if, if it is asking to watch a movie or that kind of things, how would that make you feel? Well, mm -hmm. at least for me, the kind of favors that didn't like people mm -hmm. ask me is about money. Money, okay. <laughs> yeah. Very good. But yeah. uh, regarding mm -hmm. the video, I think I didn't like the first part of the video because I didn't like the attitude of the girl but at the end uh, as you say they hit it up mm -hmm. i know what you mean yes yes very good karen uh so you mean the little girl right yeah uh, you didn't like her attitude at first no and the way she asked the things and the way she just take the tv and the dvd video i think so i didn't like it but at the end well they just do it Awesome. Very good, Karen. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that, that at first it seems like she was like demanding things, like she was not asking, just like she just turned the TV on. She just starts watching the movie. She didn't even ask for that. So that could be annoying, right? That, that can be really bothering. Vamos a ver, en mi, en mi caso personal, eh, de verdad que yo no tengo muchas visitas, honestamente. Entonces, si alguien viene y me dice, mira, puedes eh, cuidar de alguien, sería como que, ah, yo tengo cosas que hacer, ¿verdad? Entonces, tal vez esa parte no sería muy agradable para mí, un placentero. Eh, no sé qué piensan ustedes acerca de eso. En <risa> mi caso, I don't like very much the, the children's. I'm like, like yeah. Mm. But if they pay me, I can discipline them easily. <laughs> to like a, a older brother. Very good. It's so, so easy for me when the when I stay with some children, with my cousins. It's for example, uh, they only hear my voice and and be quiet. For example. <laughs> I yeah. see. So you mean like babysitting, right? Like you can just. Uh look after them but if they pay you for for that then you have no problem as long as you get paid for that yeah <laughs> i see the okay, money very, very good i like that attitude jonathan really business thanks attitude <laughs> very good yeah, that... <laughs> very good yeah creo que estoy de acuerdo con jonathan si me pagan pues tal vez ahí sí eh... <laughs> realmente que no sé, tal vez es algo generacional, tal vez, ¿verdad? Como dicen, no todos ahora tenemos como esa, esa pasión por los niños, ¿ok? Yo que creo que he cambiado, ahora quizás tengo un poco más de... Eh, como más cercanía con los niños que antes. Antes era como que no, no podía realmente, era, no quería que me molestaran. Yo quería mantenerlo más alejado de los niños, pero ahora ya es un poco diferente entonces tal vez sea algo generacional verdad no sé si tal vez eh, alguno se pueda identificar conmigo eh, en esa parte eh, tal vez Jonathan que pues por mi parte pues, no, no tanto me gusta pasar con los niños eh, hasta, hasta el momento creo que tal vez si fuera un niño mío tal vez ahí sería un poco diferente la cosa pero niños de otras personas eh, no tanto ¿verdad? entonces solo eh, por, por poner un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Creo que todos tenemos eh, una, un punto de vista diferente. So, very good. Yeah. In my case, I think it's because I was raised as an only child. Oh, I, I 
do it only alone. Or bit well, do it all, all, all the things alone. So you used to do everything by yourself. You didn't have any yeah. brothers, any sisters. So you got accustomed to that, right? I have, but they don't live with me. Oh, I see. So you have. Yeah, I only visited the, the. I only visited the day, play, and go for, go to some places. But I was raised as an only child. Yeah, I see. You were raised as an only child. Okay, I see. Yeah. Very good. I mean, it has its benefits at the end. Because yeah. pro probably you got more things because of that. Probably you got more yeah. money, more uh, gifts, more attention. So that's good. Yeah, all the house for me, the toys, the food, for example. And really, I remember that I feel alone in my childhood. Uh, so you felt, did you ever feel lonely where you were a child or? Not really. Not really, because I'm happy watching my TV programs which I chose. I don't fight for the TV, for example. Right. And or video games, always for me. <laughs> yes, yeah, I understand. I, I can relate to that. I think that I was raised with my brothers. I have two brothers. They are younger than me, but I understand what you mean because uh, there were sometimes when I wanted to like for example watch something on the TV and they wanted to watch something different so I think that probably I was a little selfish because I wanted to watch my program and they just wouldn't let me do it and, I, and that would make me mad it would make me uh, really upset because I, I didn't want to uh, I just wanted to watch my program so I think that yeah. probably being an only child just like you if you yeah. if you enjoy being by yourself, that can be something really good. Yeah, uh, but also I always wonder what it felt like to have older brothers because mm -hmm. I'm the older. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Same here. Yes. I understand. Bueno, muchas gracias, Jonathan. Sí, eh, interesante, la verdad. Bueno, no sé qué piensan los demás. Eh, ¿qué, ¿Qué favores les molestarían a ustedes más y qué les molestaría menos de lo que vieron en el video? ¿Qué tal si alguien les empieza a, como a decir eso? Puedo ver una película, ustedes están trabajando y les empiezan a poner el televisor ahí con volumen alto. ¿Cómo les haría sentir eso? ¿Me gustaría? Probablemente no, ¿verdad? Most of the time you feel uncomfortable when people um, do not care what you, what you do or what you're doing because at least in the video I remember uh, she was in charge of a girl mm -hmm. for a couple of hours mm -hmm. and it's interesting like Jonathan and you mentioned before about being raised like uh, only regarding sons or at least uh, people that do not grow up with I mean didn't grow up with um, didn't grow up Thank you. Didn't didn't grow up with siblings or brother sisters, so it's interesting because in my case it's the same situation. I learn how to do my activities or my stuff by myself. It's like uh, I don't need uh, someone telling me that I need to or do something or that someone is going to help me to do something because I know how to do it. I really appreciate uh, the good willingness of people. Mm -hmm. Don't mm -hmm. take me wrong. Mm -hmm. But when there's something I can do, I prefer doing by myself. It's even it's even faster. I prefer uh, mm -hmm. the speed over anything else. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with you, Kevin. Yes. Um... I mean, I had, uh, just like you said, <laughs> I, I have two brothers. They are younger than me. And I used to spend my time uh, by myself most of the time. So, and you get accustomed to that. I mean, uh, if you want to do something, then you just do it by yourself. And then 
So you don't have to uh, discuss that with anybody. You just go ahead and do it. And that makes things easier. Uh, you get things done faster, just like you said. So that's, yeah, I totally agree, agree with you on that. And I, and I can relate to that. Vamos a ver qué dice Jacqueline. Vamos a ver. Go ahead, Jacqueline. On the other hand, <laughs> I was the youngest one. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I can say that the oldest, we are three sisters. Mm -hmm. And the oldest one, she didn't care about me. She was a good sister, but she she was like, mm. <laughs> but the, the one in the middle, I love her. <laughs> now that we are old, mm -hmm. uh, we love each other, but uh, she was mean with me. Sometimes I used to say, uh, can I go with you to the to your rooms? Because, because they share the same room. And she used to say me no, and she closed the door. And oh, I was yeah. like, mm. and start to... Like, that is like a self-defense that I start to believe that I was an, an, only, an only child. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. And I played by myself with my dolls and everything. And mm. I grew up by, by my own. So I think it was okay because I believe that that made me stronger. Mm -hmm. And uh, at that moment, at this moment, uh, we laughed because she was rude with me. <laughs> <laughs> she was very rude, but she said, but you are stronger now than maybe you mm -hmm. did if, if I didn't, was in that way. Oh, well, and uh, she was jealous. She was jealous because I was the uh, youngest. I... And, uh, and my parents loved me more than them. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that. Yeah. Yeah, well, that was kind of awful at some point, right? Because the fact that they would just not allow you uh, to be in their room uh, with them and close the door mm -hmm. at you, that's that's not something nice, right? But, mm -hmm. I mean, at the end, that's something that helped you to be more independent, to be more, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, to be stronger, just like they mm -hmm. tell you. I mean, uh, probably they didn't realize at that point that they were being mean with you. Because that's something that happens too. I think that yeah. probably brothers or sisters, uh, siblings, sometimes they don't realize they, what they what they are doing. So, mm -hmm. but it was at the end, it was something. Uh, it's, it's good that you were able to use that to be a better person. So that's that's very very good. Sí, eh, bien interesante. Pero tal vez estaban celosas, como usted dice, como usted era la pe la, men la menor. La, la niña, me imagino, ¿verdad? Entonces quizás papá y mamá se enfocaban más en, en la pequeña niña, ¿verdad? Era como que, ah, que nuestra niña y todo eso. Entonces a veces los hermanos pueden estar celosos. A, a mí me han dicho quizás que a veces pueda que nosotros hayamos estado celosos de nuestro hermano menor. Porque él es el más consentido, por así decirlo. Entonces pudiera ser, ¿verdad? Uno no se da cuenta a veces, pero ya quizás cuando crecemos... Like when we grow up, when we become adults, then we see things differently. Then we realize that that was just, I mean, nonsense. That at the end, we have to love each other. And I think that at the end, you always, uh, in some way, you always love your family. You love your brothers, your sisters, uh, no matter what happened when you were uh, kids or whatever. At the end, uh, your family. And... Uh, that's what really matters. Así que, bueno, muchas gracias, Jacqueline. Eh, <ríe> muchas gracias. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué más? Eh, bueno, ¿qué vamos a, ¿con qué vamos a hablar ahora, guys? Eh, bueno, acá nosotros podemos también utilizar un poco, ¿se acuerdan del vocabulario que nosotros es, eh, aprendimos antes? Que era como, por ejemplo, decíamos, uh, it makes me angry when people do this, uh, it, it upsets me when... Uh, people do this like for example it upsets me when people uh have uh i mean uh watch the tv with uh, a really high volume or things like that uh we can use that kind of expressions that we learned before we can uh use them in this kind of uh scenario that we have here and we can say if something uh, makes us uh mad or if we don't care about it 
or if we are neutral or if we like it, for example. Se, no sé si se acuerdan de esa parte que nosotros vimos eran eh, tres tipos de eh, como reacciones que podíamos tener hacia algo. Por ejemplo, si nos gustaba, si éramos neutrales o si nos molestaba. Entonces acá también pudiéramos utilizar eso, ¿verdad? So it makes me mad, it upsets me, um, I don't like it, I hate it when that happens. Teníamos esas cláusulas, ¿verdad? Decíamos era de cláusulas de it, when. Entonces podemos aplicar eso también acá. Solamente como algo extra, ¿ok? Para que podamos integrar todo lo que vamos aprendiendo y lo podamos utilizar como un conjunto. Aquí no se trata solamente de aprender una estructura y ya aislada, que la vamos a utilizar así, sino que algo que podamos utilizar todo en conjunto, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces ese era el video para esta parte. Después eh, quería mostrarle algo yo por acá a ustedes. Vamos a ver, voy a mostrar acá esta pequeña presentación. So, we have asking a favor. So, what is a favor? We have a definition here. It says asking someone to help you or to do something nice for you, even though it might inconvenience them a little bit. Okay? Entonces, es pedirle a alguien que les ayude o que haga algo lindo por nosotros, incluso cuando eh, pudiera causarles un poco de inconveniente, ¿ok? Eso es cuando nosotros le pedimos un favor a alguien. Es como una definición ahí. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos claros acá con esta parte? Esa sería la definición. Luego, para pedir un favor, nosotros tenemos varias formas. Yo quiero mostrarles a ustedes como las formas de más comunes en, eh, digamos, uh, inglés americano, por así decirlo. ¿Ok? Entonces tenemos acá, ¿cuál es la frase más común? Sería como, could you do me a favor? No vamos a decir, could you make me a favor? Or could you give me a favor? That's, that's incorrect. We have to say it like this. Could you do me a favor? Okay. Could you do me a favor? Or we can also say, could I ask you for a favor? ¿Podrías hacerme un favor? ¿O podría pedirte un favor? Serían las dos expresiones más comunes. Okay. Then, eh, la otra persona nos puede decir, Um, sure, claro, o sea, si está dispuesta a ayudarnos, puede decir eso. Or if they want more information, they may say something like, what do you need? So we can tell them more information about what we need. That would be probably like two of the possible responses that we can get. Okay, Kevin, go ahead. Um, another phrase that I have... Uh listen with some Americans is, could you kind do me a favor? It's not so common, mm -hmm. but I have heard in some older people about mm -hmm. 50, 60, 70 years old. Mm -hmm. They use that expression. They are kind or kindly at mm -hmm. the end, in the middle mm -hmm. or mm -hmm in the very start of the sentence and some other people they use make um i don't know what you said that we do not use we shouldn't use make um mm -hmm. i don't know or maybe it's a typo with them mm -hmm. but they say make could you make me a favor mm -hmm. some old people do that i don't know if it's correct or not maybe the grammar mm -hmm. very good thank you kevin i appreciate that So yeah, uh, this is another uh, good expression, I think. Uh, it just depends on how polite we want to be, right? Like, for example, we can say, could you do me a favor? That's like the standard um, way to say it. But then if you want to add more politeness to it, you can add uh, something like this. Could you kindly do me a favor? Okay, that would be also uh, a good way to say it. comes to that, Um, could you make me a favor? Bueno, por lo general yo lo he escuchado como Could you do me a favor? O así, por lo general Could you make me a favor? Pudiera ser eh, A veces recuerden de que nosotros podemos decir las cosas De otra forma O tal vez ellos lo digan así Y bueno, es como cuando nosotros hablamos eh, Utilizamos a veces palabras Que quizás no las decimos de la forma correcta Pero igual se entiende el significado, ¿verdad? Así que pudiera ser, voy a investigar, la verdad Kevin, eh, voy a investigarlo porque donde yo sé, 
tendría que ser así, pero vamos a investigar, lo vamos a dar pendiente, ¿ok? Alright, so, like I was saying, guys, uh, we can get this response, uh, they can say, uh, sure, if they are really willing uh, to help, or they can say, uh, what do you need, in case that uh, they would like to get more information from us, ¿ok? And then, uh, tenemos acá, vamos a ver, déjenme borrar esto, Vamos a ver por acá, borrar. Entonces tenemos acá otra vez, eh, bueno, unos ejemplos. Uh, dice, could you please help me move these boxes? Ok, un poco más polite. Okay. Could you please help me move these boxes? Or could you possibly give me a ride to the airport on Friday? Basically, when we say, could you possibly give me a ride to the airport on Friday? What we mean is that uh, we know it's uh, like, something that could be hard uh, to do like in this case uh, if we ask somebody to give us a ride to the airport they, that may not be possible right that's the reason why we say could you possibly give me a ride because we don't know if that's something that the other person can do okay it's like a difficult request for the other person that's the reason why we say it like this okay for example um, que, que sé yo, eh, pudieras prestarme tu carro, pudiera ser, si no tenemos mucha, eh, una relación tan estrecha con esa persona, pudiera ser un poco no, no tan fácil de eh, que se pueda realizar esa solicitud, ese favor. Entonces pudiéramos decirlo así. Uh, could you possibly uh, lend me your car, maybe? Okay. Or lend me your computer. Es una, una solicitud un poco complicada, ¿verdad? Dependiendo de, de quién se trate. Tenemos otras expresiones como Would you mind answering a few questions for my research? Acá nosotros tenemos esta expresión con Would you mind? Y después de esta expresión vamos a tener un verbo en la forma ING, ¿ok? Si se fijan acá abajo también, dice Would you mind watching my back for a few minutes? ¿Ok? Entonces, eh, es la expresión esta de acá. Would you mind... And then we have the verb in the ing form, okay? Right, so then uh, after that, uh, they can say yes or they can say no, right? We ask for a favor, the other person can say yes or no, right? So if somebody's, uh, these are the ways that we can uh, say yes. When somebody asks for a favor, we can say things like, sure, no problem, absolutely, I'd be happy to. Or we can also say, yeah, definitely. So those are some of the expressions that we can use for that, okay? Así que, por ejemplo, en este caso, eh, si nos pregunta alguien, uh, could you please help me move these boxes? We can say, sure. Or we can say, no problem. Or absolutely, I'd be happy to. We can say that kind of things. If we want to do it, right? Okay, then uh, the next part is about saying thanks to someone after uh, they do us a favor. We can say, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. It's a big help. I owe you one or you're a lifesaver. Así, estas son algunas de las expresiones que podemos utilizar, ¿ok? Hay más. Eh, no estoy diciendo que solo sean estas, pero estas serían algunas de las más comunes para dar las gracias después de que alguien nos, dé un, eh, nos haga un favor, ¿ok? Ahí por último, acá tenemos esta parte que es para decir eh, no. Okay, so if for example, uh, somebody asks you for a favor and you don't want to do it or you cannot do it, then you can say uh, something like this. You can say, sorry, I can't. I'm afraid I can't. Or you can say, sorry, I'm not able to help with that. Or you can also say, I wish I could help, but, and then you are going to give a reason why you are not able to do it. Like, for example, if somebody asks you, um, could you possibly give me a ride to the airport? Then you can say, I wish I could help, but I have to work on Friday, so I can. Okay? I, you give a reason why you cannot. Okay? Or you can say, sorry, I can't. If you don't want to express uh, or explain the reason why you cannot do it. Okay? Entonces acá, estas serían algunas de las expresiones, guys, que podemos utilizar. No sé si tenemos alguna pregunta hasta ahora. Sorry. 
ya vamos a creo que vamos a hacer una pequeña actividad para terminar vamos a ver Vale, vamos a ver, entonces, eh, hagamos esto. Vamos, me gustaría que tal vez de forma voluntaria eh, hagamos como parejas ahorita en las cuales nosotros nos imaginemos una situación en la cual le pidamos un favor a la otra persona y esta persona nos diga si sí puede o no puede y que podamos un poco utilizar este vocabulario que estamos viendo ahorita, ¿ok? Así que vamos a ver, no sé si a alguien eh, le gustaría participar. La vamos a hacer así un poco improvisado, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, uh, you can say, uh, Hi, Jacqueline. Uh, me, teacher. Could you please help me? Uh -huh. Ok, thank you, Jonathan. Tenemos a Jonathan. Well, another volunteer. Vamos a ver, ¿alguien más? ¿Alguien me? más que quiera? Hi. Ah, Evelyn, ok, very good. Evelyn, thank you. Entonces acá vamos a ver, eh, Jonathan va a pedirle un favor a Evelyn y Evelyn va a contestarle, ya sea, eh, bueno, en este caso quizá lo vamos a hacer un poco más extenso. Me gustaría que Evelyn le pregunte qué tipo de favor uh, necesita y luego que Jonathan lo explique y luego que Evelyn va a decirle a Jonathan si puede o no puede. Vamos a ver. So you can go ahead, Jonathan. Oh, okay. <laughs> And can you, well, could you lend me money for this weekend, please? Mm, I am not sure. Uh, why do you need the money? Well, I need the money to climb the... La Matebec Volcano, with my friends. I'll, I'll pay you for the other Friday, please. No, I can't. It's my money. I am not your mother, sorry. <laughs> well, I will give you five dollars more if you pay me, if you lend me the money. Mm. I only need ten dollars. Interesting. When you yeah. return my money. What? When you return my money. The other Friday. When I okay. have my Aguinaldo, for example. <laughs> mm -hmm. And what um, guarantee me? Or oh, guarantee? I can give my smartwatch. <laughs> okay. I, I can... The Yeah, the battery is broken, but it's a, a smartwatch. Okay, I can give you the money, but you should give me the interest. Yeah, five dollars. It's okay. a, a good trick. Okay. It's mission complete. <laughs> awesome, guys. Very good. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Bueno, muy bien. La verdad que me gustó bastante. Muy bueno. Eh, <laughs> so in this case, just a couple of things, guys. Maybe, uh, for example, you can say her. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can tell her, like, I will give you the money next Friday, for example. Okay. Instead of the other Friday, we can say something like, next Friday. Okay. Are we good? Mm. A veces nosotros quizás, ¿verdad? Um, Ajá, yeah. Perdón. The next Friday in this case. Ajá, you can say next Friday, okay? I will give you the money oh, yeah. next Friday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Muy bien, muchas gracias, Jonathan. Sí, porque a veces nosotros eh, pensamos como lo decimos normalmente, ¿verdad? Eh, te lo voy a dar el otro viernes. Y está bien, ¿verdad? Pero en inglés sería como, so, I will give you the money next Friday, ¿ok? Eh, no es este viernes, pero es el siguiente. Más o menos eso es lo que estamos diciendo. Okay. Sí, en inglés es como más específico y a veces yo pienso eso, de que el español es más complejo y, y uno lo entiende. Uh -huh. Y el inglés es más simple uh -huh. y cuesta. 
that is true. Yes, that is true. And then Evelyn, uh, for example, you can ask, uh, when are you going to give me the money back? Okay. Or when am I going to get my money back? Okay. Básicamente, ¿cuándo voy a, uh, ¿cuándo me vas a devolver el dinero? O ¿cuándo voy a tener mi dinero de regreso? Like, when are you going to give me the money back? Or when am I going to get my money back? Something like that. Okay, just a couple of things that we need to change. But other than that, you guys did a great job. I really liked it. Uh, I really liked it when Evelyn said, I'm not your mother, so I'm, I can give you money. <laughs> really liked it. Así que por ahí podemos ir cambiando las cositas, ¿verdad? Por lo demás, me gusta mucho. Gracias, guys, por participar siempre. Están haciendo un excelente trabajo. Y aquí vamos mejorando poco a poco, ¿verdad? ¿Alguna pregunta con respecto a esto, guys? Eh, hasta ahora. ¿Alguien más que quiera participar? ¿Anybody else? Bueno, y un par de cosas que se me había olvidado mencionarles por acá. Eh, tenemos acá que si alguien nos dice no, no puedo, por ejemplo, eh, podemos decir este tipo de cosas. Okay, you can say like, that's okay. Oh, that's all right. Or you can say, no worries. Or we can also say, um, I understand. I'll ask someone else. Okay. Está bien. Está, no, hay, no hay problema. Eh, o entiendo, le preguntaré a alguien más. Son otras expresiones que podemos utilizar también. Okay. Al momento de que alguien nos diga que no. Okay. Para que no haya como un silencio incómodo por ahí. Nosotros podemos decir eso. Okay. That's okay. Uh, no worries. Or I understand. I'll ask someone else, okay? So, if, for example, Jonathan asks Evelyn for money and she says no, then he can say, uh, I understand. Uh, I'll ask someone else, okay? And that's fine. So, basically, that's that's it. Entonces, ya tenemos acá expresiones para pedir un favor, eh, para decir que sí, para decir que no, cómo dar las gracias y qué responder eh, cuando alguien nos dice que no, okay? No sé si tenemos alguna duda hasta ahora, guys. Any questions? Nuevamente. Okay. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, so again, guys, uh, for this week, we just have to complete section three and also the midterm exam, right? So we are almost half uh, the way. Uh, we only have like two more topics, I think. So we can cover those topics tomorrow and possibly on Thursday. And we can also complete the midterm exam together, if you wish. Bueno, así que si no tenemos preguntas, quizás nos vamos a quedar hasta aquí hasta ahora. Mañana vamos a continuar, guys. Les agradezco mucho nuevamente por estar acá presentes. De verdad, muchas gracias. Eh, espero que tengan una feliz noche. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night, see you. Bye, guys. Bye.